documented ISMS scope document. So this document is going to lay out the scope of the information security management system. We're going to capture some key pieces of information and record those in here. And where those pieces of information exist in other documents, we're going to put links to them so that we've got one standard document that sets our scope. First of all, as part of your initial build, there's very little to do with the scope statement. The scope statement will evolve as you go through the process, but there's an example scope statement that has been provided. What we are going to do is populate the products and services. In a previous document, we recorded what our products and services were as our customer knows them, and here we're going to list them in terms of what's in scope and what's out scope for the information security management system. So this is what is in scope when it comes to the certification and what's going to go on our certificate. It's the thing that our customers are asking us for and wanting assurances over um, being secure. We're going to record our location. So again, previously we recorded what our locations were. Now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight which of those locations are in scope and out of scope. When determining locations that are in or out of scope, these are locations that support your in-scope products and services. So if a location either has equipment or people or resources that are a core part of the product and service that's in scope, then the location is in scope. We're going to record the departments and people that are in and out of scope. Again, these are the people and departments that are fundamental and core to the products and services that are in scope. So if you are a software development company, then software development team and IT are going to be in scope. Third party employees uh, may well be in scope. When it comes to departments and people, often we see that um, things that are out of scope are things like marketing or uh, finance. Again, it's going to be specific to what your products and services are. The technology section is where we need to get as much information together as we can about our technology, either technology that we're using or technology that's built for the in-scope services. So we're going to start by providing an overview in words of what the technology is so that a layperson could understand it, how you would explain it verbally to somebody else. We're going to provide copies of architecture diagrams. Now, architecture diagrams are descriptions of how these systems hang together. So you speak to your IT department if you're unaware of what one is. And we're not asking to replicate information. What we would do is provide a link, a location a worded link to where the most up to date version of that document is. There is a note here around adequate document control, showing version history and classification and review dates. This is something that we see reasonably regularly when it comes to technology diagrams that they do lack um, that information. It is a core requirement of the Information Security Management System in 27001. So now is a good time to get into the habit of adding that information on. So we want technological diagrams, architecture diagrams that show server layouts, be it physical or, or virtual. It could be cloud diagrams that are conceptual that work their way down then into network diagrams. We are going to want a link to the most up-to-date network diagram and we're going to ensure again that there's um, adequate version control and classification on it um, but we need an up-to-date network diagram showing the, the connections into and out of the organization you know we're going to show things on there like firewalls potentially and load balancers and servers and IP and network segregation. What we should have at the end of this is a list of all of the products and services that are in scope, the people that support it, the locations that support it, and be able to very clearly articulate and demonstrate documentation uh, around our technology and our technology stack and how that hangs together from an architectural point of view through to the server layout all the way down into the uh, network uh, layout as well. Obviously, at this point, you're also going to be considering things like development, test and production environments uh, if they are relevant to your organization.